Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to PTM Racing TV. Tonight, it's doubleheader season once more. But with t before we get to the Flyby Cup Series, coming right after the stream here tonight, we bring you something special, something unique, something that only we could be a part of. And we are honored to be a part of this race, to be able to bring you the charity stream from Shake and Bake Racing here. The Fall 2020 Series will bring you guys eight drivers looking to win not for themselves but for their charity of choice and as we get ready to bring him on out we'll start him on the pole aiden doyle and the number two his charity of choice tonight will be with the national ms society and then the outside of him will be david shively in the 85 he will be rock he will be going for the speedway children's charities And then row number two, that's going to be Bryson Matthews in the 20. His charity of choice tonight will be the Eggleston Hospital. And to his outside, that will be Sean Ryan in the 39. His choice tonight will be the Alzheimer's Association. Row number three, it's going to be the 99 of Ron Walters. His charity of choice tonight is going to be with American Cancer Society. To his outside will be the 86 of Derek Re Regal. Derek Regal, his his choice tonight is the MS Resources of Central New York. Right number four, that is going to be the 19 of Travis. I'm going to say his name wrong, but Travis Sedzildo, Sedzlo. Travis will be... Rocking the Folds of Honor Society. And then to his outside, that will be the 86 of Derek Re Regal. And then, we, as I mentioned before, Derek Regal will be the MS Resources of Central New York. Running out our field will be the 75 there of William Matthews. William Matthews going with the Eggleston Hospital as well. And to his outside, that 9 will be Nate Byers going with tonight uh, looks like we do not have a thing for him tonight on that actually so it looks like he is going for any of the other drivers charities tonight as we bring him on down around though folks stress around get the stream up as much as you can give these guys some love this is the charity event for the shake and bake racing series all right ladies and gentlemen You've got the words, you got the info, and if you guys are a little curious, well, don't worry, I'll, I'll give you a hand. This is tonight's drivers, and this is what they will be going for, so if you're looking to figure out who to root for and who to go with tonight, we've got the stream ready to go here for you to show who is with who tonight. But as we get ready to go, we're going to get the pace truck off and bring him on around for some green flag racing here as they work him on down Talladega. It's time for the Shake and Bake Racing Boys to bring it on home. This is for a good cause. No points on the line. It's all for good. It's all for the people around. They're driving for their charities, folks. Choose your favorite. They bring him on down the front stretch. It's time to go green flag racing here at Talladega Motor Speedway. Off the line, through the chicane, Aiden Doyle with a good start. He'll hold him off as David Shively in the outside now works him on down the front straightaway going on into turn one. We keep it side by side. Nobody got the run they were looking for off that restart. We'll see if that comes back into the play for anyone else here as they work him on down around out of turn one into two. Ah, look here though. Here comes an A9, Ron Walters. Walters going for a serious run there and a half. Now he works him on down the back straightaway here trying to make some maneuvers here as he keeps it in with Aiden Doyle in the two. Ron Walters trying to help out the American Cancer Society here with the race here. And this is definitely going to be a battle here, to say the least, as they work them on down around out of turn three, going into turn four here. You can see how close, how tight that draft is between the drivers. They have to keep it that way if they want to keep the momentum good and keep it strong. As a 19 now, Travis Sedz uh, Travis Sedzlil. Sedzlow working them on in here. He works them on down the front straightaway here, trying to hold it up with the 99 of Ron Walters. While the 85 holds out and tries to get into position here as well. And they work him on the outside. Now here comes the 85 and the 85 and David Shively getting some serious momentum built up on the high side here, folks. Work him on down around out of turn two. They go here. They keep the momentum flow. 
We've got some battles going here. This is some great stuff. Immediately from the Shake and Bake Racing Boys. This is a duel between each other and themselves. When it comes to running this track, it's all about timing and all about pacing as they continue them on down around out of turn three and four. On back down around now, they bring him on in here. Aiden Doyle still leads it, but yeah, he's got company. David Shively in that 8-5, working him on in. A three-wide salute looks to be initiated here as the nine of Nate Byers going to the outside. Work them on in. He's trying to get something going here, but you can see it's not quite there yet. I should speak otherwise. Now the run going to David Shively. He's taking the lead and almost a three-wide salute there initiated by Nate Byers in the Gatorade number nine machine. They work him on around. We continue the draft here as they bring him on down out of turn two here. All drivers staying clean. No bump draft yet. They want to fight, but they don't want to get too aggressive early. They want to stay in position and give it itself a good run here. And now look at this. The three wide salute is initiated on two ends of this racetrack. We've got the 420 and the 19 and the 9 now swicking it on in. They push back a little bit. They can't quite get the momentum they were looking for there. That will open up the door to Aiden Doyle now working him on in, trying to get around David Shively as they work him on down the front stretch. These two side by side so far battling for this one. It's a good battle immediately early on, but remember, it is early. They gotta be careful about that. They can't just be messing around too much. They've got to save the tires for later and work on the fuel run. These drivers are giving it quite the show early, but it is early, folks. You all gotta remember that. On oh, down around the back straight away we go here and Aiden Doyle still holding on to his lead here as he works him on in with David Shilley right in the hunt here. And David now bringing him on around out at four. Here they come here folks still side by side. Nobody wanted to give that spot up just yet but no one wants to make the risk yet either. We've seen it before where number nine there that was uh, Nate Byers giving it quite the run now yet again. The three wide salute is initiated. The 99, the 20, and the four going at it. Ben Dunn working it in there with, Bry with Bryce and Matthews. And that 99 of Ron Walters getting into that one. They com they commit to the three wide salute yet again. Look out though, the nine in the little wall. The nine's in the wall there. He manages to keep it stabilized and steady. Steady Eddie. See where they go, Eddie. They bring him on around down the back straightaway here. What's the on board here with these drivers? You're on board here with Ron Walters. As you take a look right here, you can see how much defense he's got to hold on that bottom line to try to stick with these guys but everyone in the middle and the bottom on down they're going to try and challenge him there and try to get something going as well and that's where the troubles are going to be you got to figure out how you're going to run that line and run that position that you want it's definitely showing here as they work him on down the front straightaway here Aiden Doyle and David Shively are still your two front runners here neither driver giving an inch here or giving up too easily on down around now the three wide salute is that's yet again you know what I'm gonna say it's initiated of course they work them on down out of turn two here starting to break off a little bit nobody's breaking off though from the pack they're sticking with this one it's good this is great stuff early we're holding on here as they work them on down out of the back straight away here down into turn three and a four and still a three wide salute almost looking like maybe the four wide ham bone coming out here Oh, they work him on in. Not quite yet. It looks like David trying to hold his own here, trying to stay ahead. Backfield in the house here tonight, watching these drivers going at it here. Ed and Doyle giving it everything it's worth, trying to stick with him. But David Shively is the one right now. They're all hunting down. As Derek Regal has now worked them on in. He's trying to get something going here to the inside. Oh, trouble there on the third one and a two. The 85, a little loose. They try to save it. Great driving by all ends of the spectrum. What a save. Wow, what a save there immediately. These guys gave it everything they had. I think there was a little love tap between Derek Regal and Shively. And that ended up pushing Regal down to the bottom as well as Shively. But they were able to save it and talk about what a driving maneuver there. If you want to talk about some maneuvers there, folks, that takes a lot of skill and determination to master. Patience is a virtue here, and that definitely shows. But they've got to start figuring out how to get back into the draft and try to get back in with the pack. Looks like Shibley's figured that out. So is Regal as they work him on in. You've got yourself a new race leader here, folks. That's the 39 of Sean Ryan. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here comes Ben down to the outside now in that Ford Mustang. Battle of the Fords here as they work them on down around out of turn one and two. Now they'll bring them down to the back. Straight away we go. And the three wide salutes initiated yet again. You've got to be kidding me. 
Aiden Doyle throwing him on in. He's throwing some maneuvers around. Getting a serious little bump there from Bryson Matthews. Matthews gives him the push. They work him on in. The three-wide salute closing in. The Alzheimer's Association, 39, trying to stick with him. Sean Ryan not giving up too easily, but the 20 there. Bryson Matthews not out of the hunt yet. We're not even one-eighth into this race here, folks. These guys are throwing haymakers at each other already. We saw a little bit earlier when we got a little bit down out of turn one. You saw one of them get a little bit too handsy, and that little bump was all it took to get them loose. But then the drivers were smart. The patience showed, and they were able to back off a what a maneuver that took for these drivers. On back down around to the back straightaway we go still here. You can see how hard Brightson Matthews is just trying to hold on to his lead here. But you can see that run from the four of Ben Dunn. Not out of the hunt yet either. There are two lines to drive here, folks. Let's go ahead and take an onboard look and show you what I mean here. Here on board here with Ben Dunn. Ben Dunn tonight going for the TGR Foundation. And I'm going to show you what makes him so sexful right now. Look very carefully there. You see it work him on around. Aiden Doyle is just trying to get ahead by giving a little push strap to the 20. But Bryson sees what he's trying to do and trying to block and defend there. While Ben Dunn is trying to hold that middle line to gain rhythm and momentum and hope for a little bit of help. It's definitely showing here as Travis Sidslow is also trying to get in there as well. He can work him on down around down the back straightaway here. The EMS Society number two machine. We've we've talked about them before. Of course, one of our good colleagues and friends, our a commentator of ours, Doug the Dad Burns, always rocking the MS Society machine. And now we're seeing it on Aiden Doyle here tonight. So a true honor to say, at least to see that that society is growing further and further. It's good to see that everyone's at least making their work in for that. And it's good to see all charities represented here tonight to get everyone a chance to make their voices heard and make sure everybody is heard as they work them on down the front straight here. Folks, this is great stuff immediately. But I wonder, how long is it going to take before we're going to see those tires burnt in a little too much? And the fuel will start to give out. On down around now down the back straight away we go back in to turn three and a four here. And look at this now, Ben Dunn. Oh, 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 he's looking for a maneuver here. He might be looking for the opportunity. Can he get the golden can he get the golden treat and find himself a daily double? He works him on down the front stretch now three wide yet again. I think you're going to have to get tired of me saying that because we're going to hear that a lot. Two, three wides actually initiated between the drivers here. You want to talk about racing here on Talladega. That's why they lie. Folks like to go three or four wide here. They can hold it really well. Two, three wides initiated. Then you got the 20 of Bryson Matthews just thinking, what the heck am I supposed to do? I got, three, I got two people trying to go on the outside, and now I got two others right behind them helping them out. Oh, trouble on the back stretch! Trouble on the back stretch! We got three cars spun around. Oh, the 19, the 86, and the 85 involved in that one. Well, they call for the caution right now. They're working them on down around at turn four. I don't think the flagman has initiated anything yet. Hard to tell what happened there. Unfortunately, we'll go to the PTM instant replay and find out all about that one. That was some serious headway and risk taking there, but that was not what they wanted there to get, say the least. Let's take a look at the replay. Here is the PTM instant replay. Take a look at this. Watch carefully on the roller right side of your screen here. Watch Aiden Doyle. Whoa, trouble there between the 19 and the 86. Looks like the 19 might have gotten into the wall there. We're going to go on board here with them and see about that. We're going to see if maybe we can see how exactly that happened there. Sedslow, unfortunately, going for a ride here. You're on board here with the 19. See that? This is what it's like in a three-wide salute here, folks. See how tight they're having to battle, how hard they're having to battle? Oh, a little bobble there from Ben, and unfortunately, the 85 gets taken, and they're spinning them on around, unfortunately. But they're all situated out, ready to go back on the track here. They get them all situated in. Back to the live feed here. It looks like they're going to keep a green flag here. I would have probably called a caution on that one, but nonetheless, the flagman's saying otherwise, and all drivers are okay, so they will get them situated out. 
You never know with these plate tracks, folks. Strategy can come into play later on, but they work them on down the back straightaway here to turn to turn three, going into four. And you can see the run these drivers got right now. Aiden Doyle not out of the hunt yet, trying to take it on there with the number nine and eight buyers and the Gatorade Chevrolet. Two big bad Chevrolets going up the built for tough machines. You got three, two built for toughs right now. That 39 there of John Ryan. And then the 20 of Bryson Matthews and the Chevrolet trying to hang with him and trying to get around him here. As a 99 now, uh, Ron Walters losing momentum and losing pace. He's starting to get off the rhythm here. On oh, back down around the back straightaway. Hey, look at this now. A little bump draft here. A little bit of help for the Alzheimer's Association. Number 39 there with the 20 there. Uh, Bryson Matthews. Bryson Matthews right now just doing everything he can to help him out. Alzheimer's and the Elgiston Hospital represented between those two drivers here. Elgiston Hospital going to Bryson Matthews as they work them on around down the front straightaway here. We are just at one quarter of the way here, here folks. This has been great stuff early. And right now it's looking pretty good here as they continue them on around down at a turn one. We also will be talking with our drivers at the end, so be sure to stay on in for the top three to be talked to at the end. So far, it's early right now, and after that little bobble in trouble, John Ryan has the race lead, but now he's catching up with some lap cars here. Lap traffic's going to start to become a play here. That's Travis Sedzel Sedzlo. Again, if I say your name wrong, I apologize. <laughs> it's Travis, but they didn't give me a dictionary on how to say your name tonight or pronunciation, so I apologize. As they bring him on down around the turn four here, down the front straightaway they go. Bryson Matthews still just kind of working that draft on Sean Ryan while Aiden Doyle is getting put further and further back as Ben Dunn. He's got something going there as he works him on down. As we continue them on around now, these guys are still battling for a position, starting to battle into position here as the 19 has opened the door up. They will allow the cars to get around and get themselves out of trouble here, so that's good running on them. If you get, By the way, guys, we don't just talk on the race. We also talk in the chat. So if you got comments or you want to talk about some here with us folks in the chat, come on down. We'll chit-chat with you here. Come on in. We got Keith Johnson in the house saying, hey, y'all, Keith, how you doing, buddy? Good to have you down here. And Sean Pottle, Jan Pottle joining us as well. Welcome, everyone. Good to have everybody on in here. And, folks, again, if you want, share us around. If you like us up and follow us up, we're not just doing this one. We got a double header coming. But right now, we're with this, guys, as a shake and bake racing charity event continues on down the back straightaway here. Ben done now. Finally getting some momentum there with a little help from Nate Byers, that 9 Chevrolet, eight or eight Chevrolet machine. Nate Byers trying to get something figured out here, trying to build up some momentum to get around with his friends here, trying to get around the drivers and trying to get something milled into this one here as they work them on in. Not quite enough there on that outside line. Looks like he's going to lose some momentum and build off the pace here as they continue on in. Ben Dunn also falling off the pace. That's right there is a 75 of Williams Matthews. William Matthews right now is going for the Elgiston Hospital as well tonight. So I believe if I'm going to correct myself, I'm wrong. I believe Bryson and William are brothers, if not family members at least, as they continue them on down, work them on in. Some of the drivers that got involved in that little hiccup earlier have gone into pit road and got fixed up. But right now, it's between these drivers as they work them on in, continuing the pace and continuing the momentum here. Not a lot of breathing room and not a lot of room for mistakes on this track. Especially when you try to make a big move like what Ben Dunn's doing right now as he works them on in, down, out, a turn, four into the front stretch. Ben Dunn trying to get that TGR Foundation some momentum and get around the Alzheimer's Association of the 39. Sean Ryan on down, around, out, a turn, one into two. There they go. The 99, though, of Ron Walters not taking too kindly that one. Walters trying to get that American Cancer 99 machine ahead. Whoa, look out there. They got a little close into that position. Woo! One quarter of the way here, folks, and these guys are not holding back at all here as Ron Walters has taken the lead by Ben Dunn. 
has got a frick has got a whole front end on that rear end of Walters. And that's definitely showing some right here. As we continue them on around now, they'll continue down out of turn one. Back into turn two here, folks. Well, trouble on the back stretch again. The nine there, unfortunately, getting into it as well with the 75. And unfortunately, that is going to cost our big issues. Caution's coming out. Ow! 75 right into the wall there. William Matthews takes a lick and a half. And Nate Byers as well taking a nice little lick. We're going to the replay here. Let's find out more about this one here. We had our cameras off for a minute. Let's go ahead and take another look at this one. On down around out of turn two. Let's see where the trouble started. Oh, right there. Got right in front of Aiden Doyle there in the two. And unfortunately... A tag and a half there, and that cost him dearly. Let's go on board here with the Nate Byers in that nine and see what he saw when he got the lick of it. We'll see right here. Let's take another look here. See right there. He's right there in the battle here trying to get up there in a position. See up oh, right there. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Byers going for a little ride there, and not exactly the most fun ride, as you see that 75 rolling around down there as well. Tough break for the drivers there, but they're okay, and they're going to get everything situated out and fixed up. Whoa, and the motor just went on that 9 machine. I just heard it go, unfortunately. He's rushing back into pit side. I believe they got some instant repairs they can work up into these cars. But that will open the door up now for lap traffic to get back into this. And trouble for Aiden Doyle. I think he is waiting. Actually, now I take that back. Actually, pit road's closed right now. Judging by the red flashing lights, they're waiting for the opportunity to open it up. Getting situated out. I'll give you guys a good look at these drivers here, all driving for their own associations. David Shively going for the Speedway Children's Charity is event. And it looks like he's going to leave the damage up on that car. I believe they have instant repairs in. I could be very wrong, though, so don't correct me if uh, I am wrong. I do apologize in advance. But, folks, tonight, if you guys are wondering who these guys are driving for in their charity, let me give you a little look at the charity list here tonight. These are the charities. So, again, for the National MS Society tonight, Aiden Doyle, rocking them for them. The Speedway Children's Charities are going to David Shively, as I mentioned just a minute ago. The Alzheimer's Association for Sean Ryan. The Belleville Area Humane Society with Andrew Griezmann. Not looking to Griezmann right now, doing some work here. He got a lot of work to do here. The, Elgus, the Elgiston Hospital for both Bryce and Matthews and William Matthews. The Children's Health uh, Care of uh, Sorry. The Children's Health Care of Atlanta to Matthew Cade. Hope for the Warriors with Matthew Cade as well. So there's two Matthew. So actually, Matthew Cade is sponsored, going for two charities tonight. Good on him for doing two charities. Try to give some help to all all ends of society. With the MS Resources of Central New York to Derek Regal. The American Cancer Society to Ron Walters. The Shriners Hospital to Ashley Hancock. The Folds of Honor to Travis Sedslow. And then TGR Foundation to Ben Dunn. And those drivers are what they are working for here tonight. They are trying to win this race. And get their donations set to their charities. I talked to some of them earlier today. And I can tell you right now. These all, these guys are a bunch of great folks. We've been working with Aiden Doyle a little bit as well. And I've been actually talking with some of the other drivers. And I can tell you right now. I have nothing but respect for these guys. For coming on out and doing this. And we do appreciate them giving us the honor. To be able to support this race and support this channel. If you guys missed it here on Facebook by the way. 
don't worry to everyone over at YouTube land. We will post that up as well for you. We'll even give it a nice little custom thumbnail for you just to be safe. So if you guys are wanting to see this on the big screen and you can't really get it on Facebook, well, that's all right. We'll get it up on YouTube after the race tonight. So when we are finished with this race here and with our second doubleheader tonight, we will post this race in all its glory and entirety over on YouTube land over at PTM Racing TV. And I think if you look at the intro, you can figure out where that is. I put I have put the link in there as well, so we will make sure you guys catch all of that. All right, we're bringing him on down around uh, turn two here, and folks, I'm telling you right now, it's getting a little quiet in the chat. Maybe I should go check it out. I don't know. Yeah, the chat's still quiet right now. What's up? Where's everybody at? Come on now. Chat on around, guys. Don't feel free to talk. I mean, I can tell you right now, we're going for a good cause. That doesn't mean we can't have a little fun with this tonight. These charity drivers are running for not just themselves, but of course, for their friends, family, and the people that are affected under the diseases and issues that these charities are working to help solve and, and defend against. And that definitely is showing right now, but as we get them ready to go here. All right, everybody, we're going to get them on around out of turn three into four. And then you know what time it is. You get a good look at this track here real quick. We're going to show you the outside here skirt. You can see how big Talladega Motor Speedway is. This is what the fans see right now from the outside area. And all the fans that are watching at home here on P10 Racing TV are seeing this right here for these drivers. This is what it's all about here. Fast-paced, action-packed adventures on a track like this. This is, this is something a lot of people love to come to and race on. And there's a reason why as they bring them on down around. Out of turn four, it's time to restart the race and get them back under green. Here we go. On down around the front straightaway. We're ready for this one as they come on in. Ben Dunn looking for a run and a half to get around Sean Ryan and stay ahead. Wow, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. What happened on the restart to Sean Ryan? The 75 trying to get around as well. He's trying to get his momentum back. Cautious coming back out. I think we got a referee down there, folks. Hold on a minute. We're get, let's let the referee talk. False start. Offense. Ten, one lap penalty. I'm just kidding. We'll, rest, we'll we restart the race. Well, uh... I honestly have no idea what the heck just happened. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen a restart. We had something like that happen. Sean Ryan, he did not go. Uh, we're going to go to the replay and take a look at that one. I don't even know what happened there. Let's go ahead and take a look back at this one. All right, here we go. Let's see if there was a false start on the 99 there. Or maybe it's just, or maybe Sean didn't go here. Let's take a look. I think he just got underneath him. Oh, ooh. Took a lick and a half there. That's what he got out of that. Uh, we're going to go on board here with the 99. We're going to see about that one as well here. I do not think that was the restart Walter was trying to do here, though. Here's the replay. Take a look at this. So you can see the bump draft kind of coming in. It got a little too far to the right and unfortunately tagged him there. And Well, sent him for a ride there, unfortunately. But he's okay right now as they get them all situated out here. They will bring him on around here. And I am getting word, yes, I do have three fast repairs on. So they are allowed to use them as they will. So, we'll get them all situated out here and we'll try to get them restarted one more time. And we get them all situated out here. We're ready to get them back underway. 
Ben Dunn uh, will now be your race leader as Bryson Matthews will try to hunt it down and Aiden Doyle falling into pursuit. Looks like the 78 there of Andrew and the, the 19 of Travis will go in pit side there. Maybe get a maybe another set of tires and maybe a fresh little tint of gas or two. I don't know there. Sometimes it's better to have some more gas than not. As we get them all situated out and ready to go here yet again, folks. We're definitely in for a good one here to get this restart underway. It wasn't quite the restart we were looking for on that one, but that's okay. We will get them all situated out here. No harm or and no foul. It's all good. We'll get them figured in. We almost always do. And, you know, we're ready for some more action here as they get them ready on. And again, folks, everyone at home, be sure to like us up and follow us up here on PTM Racing TV, Facebook-wise. And also go over down to YouTube land. You will be seeing this race in its entirety there. We'll even get a little custom thumbnail switched up so you know exactly what you're looking for when you go and take a look at this one. But also, if you're curious, go on over to Twitter. We'd like to have a little conversation or two there and always post in the results. So for all your racing needs in the iRacing community, as well as even some NASCAR Heat 5 stuff, Come on over here to PTM Racing TV on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and we'll show you all that and then some. So right now, folks, to get them all situated out here, Ben Dunn and the TGR Foundation will be a race leader with Bryce and Matthews as well in the second spot. Currently, Bryce and Matthews working with Elgiston Hospital. Going to work them on in with the two of Aiden Doyle going for the MS Society machine. And at 86 there of Derek Regal going on in as well with the MS Resources of Central New York. And in the fifth final spot, Alzheimer's Association's 39 of Sean Ryan will be in the hunt still trying to hopefully get a re better restart off of that one. We are going to initiate the one to go this time by. And we're almost at the halfway point here, so we are definitely in. For, I believe, a good finish here and a good race. We'll see how it all plays out here as I get them all situated in. It's been good stuff early, but I can tell you right now, these guys want a lot more than just that. They want to get more hard-fought hard race again and some more duels and battles in here. But it seems though everyone now is finally back into the rhythm of it and back under wraps because of the cautions that came out to help them out a little bit. And there it is. The one to go is initiated here, folks. So we'll double file them up here. So your top five right now. Ben Dunn, Bryson Matthews, Aiden Doyle, Derek Regal, and the 39 of Sean Ryan will do battle for the top five there. Meanwhile, you got some other drivers in the back here now. Real quick, folks, if you're still wondering who exactly they're going for here tonight, if you forgot who we were talking about, here is a little thing here for you to kind of work off of Let's take a screenshot if you will and choose your favorite on who you want to support here tonight for the charity race a lot of friends and family are watching in tonight and they're definitely supporting their their family members and their friends so definitely tune on in to let them know that you're here and let them know you are in with us here tonight by chatting up in the chat here we're getting ready to go green flag racing as soon as we come out of turn four and i'll tell you one thing man this is going to look to be a good restart a good run here as soon as I get this one in ready. All right, here we go, folks. We're about ready to put the pedal to the metal once more. After tonight, we've got one more race coming your way tonight, of course, as we will bring you guys the Flyby Cup Series. That is to follow right after this race. That will start at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern Time. So we'll see how this one plays out as we rink them on down, though. It is time to rev the motors up, get the pedal pushed down a little harder on the start. And let these bad boys sing and hum their motors away. All right, ring them on down at turn forward. Pace truck is getting told. Get off the track already. We want to let these guys go. There they come, down out of turn four, the front stretch. You hear them start to get a little quicker on the throttle. They're ready to go. They just need that start. 
Ben Dunn and Bryson Matthews will control the restart. Ben Dunn works them on in in that Ford Mustang. That Bryson Matthews in the 20 Chevrolet. Here we go, waiting for the green flag to fly. Here, there it is. Off the restart, I'd say I give the whole shot there to Bryson Matthews as he got a much better start off that one. Ben Dunn trying to stick with him. On, down, around, out, out, turn one, into turn two. And now Ben Dunn starting to get the momentum built up. He's got some help. Aiden Doyle to the inside there, working him on in as I bring him on in. Here comes the 86 of Derek Regal. Regal working him on in as well. Now trying to get something going here as they bring them on down around the back straight away here. This is looking pretty good here immediately, but you can see the drivers in the back. They're just patiently waiting. They're saving their time. They're waiting for it. Now here comes the 19. Travis Sedslow. Sedslow going in there. Sedslow trying to get that bottom line to work. Trying to get something to stick there. He's now going to start the Talladega train. All aboard the Talladega train, everybody. Choo -choo. Working them on in. Ben Dunn holding his own. Aiden Doyle in that too now. Trying to get something going here as well. A little bit of movement back there with that 85 there. Shively getting a little bit loose there. He's able to hold his own. David Shively is a few laps down, I would say. But he's definitely still in the hunt. Going to give it everything he can to try to get those laps back. And that definitely will show as they work them on down around the back straightaway here. All drivers in position, in rhythm, trying to get something figured out here. You can see how much momentum there, that 86 there of David Regal has got to the 20 there. Bryson Matthews, he's just trying to look for an opening to get to the outside or maybe still the inside when they least expect it. We're now on lap 31 of 80. We're almost at the halfway point here, folks. Aiden Doyle, he's got a clear idea and clear picture of what he's got his bumper on. He is looking. At that rear bumper as closely as he can, waiting for the right time to pull the slingshot. And on Talladega, that definitely is something you best expect. And when you're with the Shake and Bake Boys, y'all know you better learn how to shake and bake. Rick and Bobbitt style. As they bring him on down the back straightaway here. Ben Dunn, still your race leader. Here is the 86 of Derek Regal still in the hunt here, trying to get some momentum built up on the outside. Now they bring him on down around out turn four. Not a lot of breathing room for error and not a lot of room for mistakes. Aiden Doyle right now is in contention trying to get something going here. Meanwhile, on the outside there, Dan Griegel trying to get some help from the 99, but not quite getting it there. On back down around out of turn one, back into turn two. Here they go here yet again. And you can see these guys still trying to hold their line and maintain position. If you've never seen a play track and you're never just trying to figure this out, one thing you got to watch for is when they do that right there. That's when that's Nate Byers right now trying to get a momentum boost. The 85, though, of David Shively backs off, though. He didn't want to run with him. That thing is, is that there's only two ways to run this track, and that's draft and, and maneuver. There ain't no thing here called cornering. It's all about maneuverability, and these play tracks are hard to master when it comes to that. What do we mean by that exactly, maneuverability, that is? Well, what we're talking about is you can see them kind of working their way on in. They're kind of playing mind games with each other, trying to see which way one's going to go. Trying to see if maybe one goes to the inside or one goes to the outside because they need that run from the draft to help keep their momentum in there. And that definitely is showing as they work them on down the back straightaway here. All drivers still in the hunt, still maintaining position. Now here comes a 78 now, trying to build some momentum up as well. Andrew, agree. Andrew right now has got something going good. Right, the momentum run. Andrew Greeps, Gre Grease Bomb right now. I hope I said your name right, bud. As he works him on down, out of turn four down the outside there, out of Dayton Doyle. Grease Bomb now trying to get something going here, trying to stick with it. He hasn't been on the front all day. Now he's got something going here as he works him on around. What a maneuver there by Grease Bomb as they work him on the outside. He's getting around Ben Dunn. Ben, you've got company, sir. And he just so happens to be at your inside door here. We're going on board here with Grease Bomb. That's how tight and how close they are. They're trying to get that side draft to work off Ben Dunn. And it definitely is showing. Andrew's got a run and a half here as he works him on down. The momentum starting to continue through is the 85 there. David Shively trying to get his last back. Not really trying to win this one. 
On down, around, out of turn four. Here they go. Now they've got some company there. Looks like the 39. I'm not sure what happened to Sean Ryan there, but he's trying to stay up to the high side, stay out of trouble. Smart thinking and good sportsmanship on his end to stay in the stay out of the way for these guys. They work them on in. We're almost at the halfway point here, folks. And these guys are definitely putting on a show when it comes to the battles here. Not giving any room and not giving up too much position. See how tight and compact they have to keep it here. We're going to go on to the sky cam and show you how far they're coming right into your living room. That long stretch of road is what's all about when they're trying to maneuver and they're trying to hold their area. And that's how tightly compact everybody is right now. On, down, around, on the front, straight away here, Aiden Doyle getting a little bit of company. That's the 19 of Travis Sedslow. Sedslow currently trying to stay out of trouble and stay out of the way of problem zone here. While also trying to get some momentum built back up and to maybe take a lead here. On down around now we bring them on down the back straight away here and you can see the run and a half these guys have got going on here. Aiden Doyle is giving it everything it's worth. Try to stick with it. Try to stay in the hunt here. No room for error. No room for mistakes. Ben Dunn now getting a little bit close up there with Andrew. Andrew Griesbaum has to back off there and stay out of trouble. He saw Ben was coming for him trying to block. And then Nate Doyle tried to get in there, but he couldn't quite get it quite because the four Ben Dunn was defending like a gladiator at, in the Coliseum. He is giving it everything he can to his royal subjects, trying to stick with it and trying to win this one for his charity. But you can see how much the run there is coming from Aiden Doyle. He's trying to defend. Look at the defensive move right there by Ben Dunn, but now he's got trouble. He's got a three wide salute initiating right beside him. Holy smokes, the defense not quite working. They went on offense. Look at this. Look at this. Working on down around out of turn four. These guys are neck and neck. Three wide salute initiated yet again. Not even halfway into this one. These guys are giving it everything they've got. You've got a three car battle for the lead now. Just back down to 280. Doyle and Ben Dunn going to go at it. Oh, I am speechless right now. We've seen a lot of great play track racing, but I don't think I've seen a good one at Talladega here tonight. Work them on down around out of turn two. Here they go. They are still in the hunt, still battling for this one. Nobody's going to give an inch, and nobody is going to give any chances up. The nine now going three wide with a 20 and the 78. There as they work them on down around. That 86 of Derek Regal trying to get around Aiden Doyle. Aiden Doyle now just trying to stay out of trouble while Travis Sudslow is just all on that bumper of Ben Dunn. Ben Dunn is your race leader right now at the moment. And I say at the moment because right now I don't even know what to expect. These guys can change that lead up quicker than you know. And a little bit of contact made there already Derek Regal. Oh, that could have been dangerous there, but they were able to keep it cool and keep it clean. Bryson Matthew, though, getting right into the back bumper there of Derek Regal, and that could have slowed him up a bit. On back down around this next time by will finally get one step closer to halfway to finishing this one. Continuing them on in around out of turn three going into turn four here. Nobody giving an inch this one. Now Ben Dunn will have to take on Travis Sedzel. You want to talk about battling right now. Ben Dunn. I'd call him right now the defender of Talladega because he had to defend five cars off at one point. Somehow held it off. And now, he's got another car trying to battle him and trying to steal his position. This isn't what you would see on other stuff that we've ran before with Talladega and Daytona. Maybe on the Ascar Heat 5 Series or Heat 4 or Heat 3. That you really don't want to bump draft too much because you saw it earlier. This is all about maneuverability, conser conservation, and making sure you don't overdrive that car when you need to most. Another three wide salute initiated yet again here. On down around out of turn three, going on down in turn four here. Nate Byers now starting to get some momentum built up, trying to work him on in with Bryson Matthews there. And William Matthews not too far out of the hunt either. On down around now, look at this now. Lee Chase maybe in pursuit here. Ben Dunn trying to defend. He tries to block. Travis Sedlow had a move there. 
And now the 20 of Bryson Matthews, not out of the hunt yet. We're halfway to the end of this one here, boys and girls. Side by side, we now have the race lead underway. This is what it's all about when you got these plate tracks. It's when you got the movers, you've got the runs. It's all about maneuverability and that run from the draft. And you are seeing it between four drivers right now with Nate Byers and that nine Gatorade just trying to get a last push, a last little moment here of strength. On down around here, they work them on in. That folds of honor, number 19 machine of Travis Sudslow trying to stick with them here as they work them on down out of turn four here. Nobody giving an inch here to these drivers. Nobody giving any room. They are going to give it everything they can trying to win for their charity of choice. And there's definitely a lot of bragging rights on the line, but you know that they don't really care about that right now. All they care about is just trying to make good on their promise to what they said to their charities. Well, I can tell you right now from what we're getting from the stream, I think they're making everybody proud at home as much as they are their friends and family, especially those charities, for how good of a race they put on so far. This is tremendous stuff from the drivers here. On down around out of turn three. Now working them on into turn four here. You can see now a little bit of momentum is being lost there on that 78 of Andrew Griesbaum. Griesbaum trying to get something figured out. Now Ben Dunn lost his lead as well. Bryson Matthews managing to sneak around, but maybe not for long now. Here comes Sut. Here comes Travis Sudslow now working him on down on the front straightaway, trying to help Ben Dunn give a little push and get himself into the hunt yet again. And he is successful. He works him on in. Ben Dunn has got the push and a half, and he gets back into the lead. While the Matthew boy in the 78 of Andrew Griesbaum is trying to stay in as well. Man, you want to talk about good battles and great races. This is definitely showing it here tonight. Great stuff from these shake and bake guys. Continuing on in here. Nobody giving an inch. Now the three wide salute is initiated yet again. Now Travis Sudlow has to do battle there with the 86 of Derek Griegel and the 9 of Nate Byers. Working them on down around out of turn four yet again. They are still in the hunt. No driver giving an inch here. This is great stuff as they bring him on down the front straightaway here. Oh, look at that. A four-wide salute almost coming into play. Woo-hoo. Oh, you don't want to open up a can of worms those four slides. Oh, but they were going for it. You saw them. They were trying to play a little bit of roll the dice and see where this one was going to go. But unfortunately, there's not five involved, so it's not a Yahtzee. But on down around the back straightaway here. They continue this one on in. No driver giving an inch. No driver giving up any momentum or runs here. They continue this one on. Ben Dunn and Bryson Matthews right now are your two front runners with Travis Sedslow in that third spot. Not out of the hunt yet. They've got a pack of drivers still in this one. Sean Ryan is currently a lap down. So is Shively. Unfortunately, falling victim to some carnage earlier and some wrecks, and that put them back further in the pack. As you work them on around down out of turn two, here they go. No driver giving out just yet. They're still in the hunt trying to figure this one out. Now that back straight away they go. Whoa, look out there, look out. Ron Walters going on the bottom. Nate Byers giving a little bit of a tag there. And Ron Walters has gone back to the bottom. I'm wondering if he's trying to go into pit side. No, it does not look to be the case. Looks like everything is just getting a little bit loose there. He got squirrely and he's lost the run. I wonder if maybe the tires got burnt in a little too much as well there. You never know sometimes. I'm back down around out of turn one, down turn two. Here they go. Neither driver giving an inch here, neither one giving anything up. The folds of honor 19 of Travis Sedslow still in it. But that TGB foundation of Ben Dunn is your race leader with, with Bryce and Matthews. Give him a push while the 78 of Andrew Griesbaum getting a little bit of help there from Shirley, from Shively. David Shively giving it everything he can, trying to get his last back while also trying to help out his fellow drivers get ahead. This has been some good stuff here in the early going. The second half, my opinion, kind of lackluster from the first half. But I got a feeling when that finish comes around, you're going to start seeing some more risk taken here. 
There is too much action to call so far, but it's definitely right now. It may have tamed down a little bit, but I got a feeling it's not going to be that way for long as they continue them on in here. No driver giving an inch here. No one giving up. They work them on down the back. And Greensbaum actually had a little bit of a better run there on Ben Dunn, but Dunn managed to finally get back ahead here. And he is starting to move forward. Whoa, almost contact made there by Andrew and Travis there, but they were able to hold it out and stay stable. All right, folks, looks like they're going to start some cars lining up for the two, two Talladega train. Aiden Doyle right now trying to get something here, maybe trying to get a little help to Travis. That's a little while. Meanwhile, they got that 78. They're still of Griezmann trying to stick with it with, Br with Shively. Giving it everything they can and working on in. Now they got lap traffic in front of them. Whoa, a little bit of maneuvers there. A little bit of run around. Ben Dunn got a little loose. He seemed to have got stabilized now, but that could have been dangerous there. He saves it and gets it all taken care of. Griezmann will now take the race lead away from Dunn, and Dunn's going to have to figure out how to get around with the TGR Foundation. I think I said TGB by accident. I did not mean that. Met TGR Foundation. As Ben Dunn currently, currently rocking around side by side. They go yet again. That 78 still doing battle here. Neither driver giving an inch here. And the three wide salute is initiated yet again. Derek Regal not giving anything up. Trying to get something figured out. But the more he keeps battling, the more he just keeps not finding the run he wants. On back down around that back straight away they go. Nobody giving an inch here. Nobody not working them too far in. The 75 there now has company. William Matthews is going to try to stay out of the way here as he works them on down. The outside line, he'll take it. Look at this, folks. Neither driver giving an inch. Neither one wants to give this one up so quick. We're down to 31 laps remaining in this one. On uh, down around out of turn one, back down and into turn two here. Ben Dunn now, whoa, brings it right back down to the bottom of Ian and Doyle. We're going on board. We're on board here with Derek Regal. I'm going to show you real quick where he's trying to keep his line at and keep his position in. You can see how he's trying to hold that draft and hold his line here. He's actually backing off on the throttle. You see the RPMs and you can actually hear the motor die down a little bit. That's because he's trying to not get into the rear of that too of Aiden Doyle trying to stay out of trouble while also still trying to maintain position and trying to maintain his line and everything here the built for tough Mustangs right now are in trouble with the Chevrolets in front but, but Andrew Griesbaum right now is saying otherwise so that he's the only other Ford right now with the lead we're used to seeing the Chevrolets or the Toyotas really doing it all the leading and all the battles but it seems as though the Fords are back with a revengeance. They are out to win it here. As you see, a little bit of help there from David Shively and the 9 and 8 buyers trying to help each other out. Continuing, and I'm on in here, folks. Griezmann is still race leading with Bryson Matthews still trying to get something figured out here. On down around the back straight away we go here yet again. They are still in range and still in the hunt here. All drivers still duking out for position, trying to figure out what they want to do here. And now we've begun it again. It's time for the Talladega Choo Choo Train. Whoop. Give you guys a good look at what we're talking about here. You're on board here with the 75 now. William Mathis right now currently quite a few laps down at this one. He's just trying to get some momentum built up and trying to stick with him. As you see, Bryson Matthews is trying to also get something figured out here. No room for error now. 
know these guys are just kind of waiting patiently waiting for the right time to strike seeing when is the right time to strike and I gotta be honest with you there really isn't a right time to strike until literally the last couple laps when you need to most it's all about really saving and trying to figure out how to work them on in whoa Ben done now he's gone into pit road a few of them are going down in pit road Wow, look out there Looked like the 886 had a little bit of trouble trying to enter into pit road as we bring him on back down. You've got three cars right now that are on the lead lap just trying to stay ahead of the trouble that is going to be when they get back out on the track with a fresh set of Goodyears and a splash of gas inside that tank. Matthews, Griesbaum, and Doyle right now are currently still trying to hold each other out. They're getting a draft going now. They'll initiate a five-car draft as Nate Byers works them on in with Shively. Oh, maybe not. Bryson, what are you trying to do there, buddy? He's trying to get around the outside there. He's trying to get up there in position and maybe make a move around him, but I don't think that's a smart thing to do. If I was him, I'd be trying to figure out and communicate between crew chiefs, like, what is the right time to get off the track? Because right now they're running out of time. As you work them on in here, you can see there's some of the lap traffic getting out of the way. William Matthews right now coming out of pit road. Aiden Doyle not out of the hunt yet. He's been in the race lead before. He wants another one here. He wants a chance at this one here. But right now he's just trying to stay ahead there. Bryson Matthews. Andrew Griesbaum right now as well is just in there and he's trying to figure it all out. I think the lap traffic right now actually is going to become more of a problem for them because right now they're actually building so much momentum up. They've actually found a way to get up with them and trying to get into the position. And at long last, it looks like they will finally go in pit side now. So they head on down to pit road here. We're going to focus in on the lap traffic, trying to figure out what they're up to here. Derek Regal will try to get something figured in and going. But Nate Byers right now is catching up. We're going to make his pass around. As David Shively as well falls right behind him here. These guys trying to give it everything they can. Trying to figure out what they want to do and how they're going to work it in here. There's a lot at stake and these drivers know it. So they're just trying to figure out when's the right time to move and when's the right time to make a pass. It's definitely showing right now in my opinion. I'm uh, back down around out of turn four. Here they go here in that nine of Nate Byers currently just one out of being under the bubble of the lap traffic zone, but he's not in there just yet. The drivers have now finally got their way on out out of pit road here. They're trying to stay ahead of one another, but they've got company coming up on them quick here. Ben Dunn and Travis Sedslow are working them on in quickly here with Sean Ryan, the lap car down and out. And there they go now. Here comes lap traffic getting in their way here. Can they find a way around them? Ben Dunn's got one shot in my opinion. He's got to get it just right here. On around out of turn three. Going down turn four. Slingshot for the outside there. Matthews as he works him on in. He'll get around Doyle as well. And Travis Seslow helping him out here. But Doyle blocks it. Oh, Doyle didn't give him any room there. He blocked his momentum. He blocked everything. Ben Dunn managed to actually hold the draft with Sedslow. And now Sean Ryan's going to come to the aid of Sedslow as they work him on down around out of turn one, down to turn two. But they're all chasing down that man right there, Andrew Griesbaum. Andrew, I hate to say it, but right now you got company behind you, bud. And it's not a Talladega train. Let's just say it's some kind of three-headed monster looking to come at you and take your lead over, bud. They work them on down around. Here they come. They're building the momentum up here, and they've got something going here. Ben Dunn now trying to get it in there. The TGR Foundation has got a lot of momentum on the outside there. Builds it on around, and Aiden Doyle will make his pass. Can he get the momentum on the outside there? Ben Dunn now getting ahead with Aiden Doyle trying to get in there as well. Griesbaum has lost his spot and lost position here, and now it's just a battle between Doyle and Dunn here. All drivers now pretty much back on pace and off the pit road, but I can tell you right now the top five are in your sights here, folks. This is going to be a battle between these drivers here. And look at this now. To the outside goes Bryson Matthews. Matthews maybe trying to think of something. Think of a different strategy, if you will. We're going on board with him. 
You can see how hard he's trying to hold that draft there with the 39 of Sean. Sean Ryan right now is just trying to give it everything he can, but he's also trying to stay out of trouble there. Now back down the inside there as he works him on down around. You can see the momentum starting to build in the favor of the Matthews camp. And it's definitely showing as they work him on it. Whoa, get a little squirrely there out on the turn stretch. 22 laps remain in this one, and it's right now looking pretty good, to say the least here. On back down around, out of turn two, they go. And that 19, Travis Sudslow is still not giving an inch here, not trying to give up any room. This is looking pretty good for all drivers in this one, but right now it's all about just trying to hang with it and stay in the position as they continue. This one on in, out around, out of turn three into four we go. Nobody giving an inch here. Nobody giving any room up for this one. They want this win. They want this bet, this victory for their charity, of course. Now look at this. To the outside goes Andrew Griesbaum yet again trying to make a move around it. Been done here. We've got the battle for the lead. I'm back down around on out of turn one, down into turn two. They go here at the 20 now. Uh, Matthews is still trying to get something figured out. Bryson is not out of the hunt, not out of this one just yet. You want to talk about great battles tomorrow night? We'll have ourselves the first ARCA Series battle for the Pedal in the Middle Racing League at Daytona. So you'll see another play track. But for now, it's the Cup Series of Shake and Bake Racing right now, putting on a show for the charity event. All the charities are sponsored up on their car. No, Nate Byers does not have a sponsorship with Gatorade. Don't worry about that. At least my knowledge, anyway. What do I know? Anyway, moving my down around the front straight away here. Ben Dunn strings it from the top to the low. Says, let's see where this one goes, boys. As he works him on down around. Bryson Matthews now has got something going here. He's starting to get up there with Ben Dunn as they work him on in. No room for error here and no room for mistakes. As they continue them on in here, these guys giving it one heck of a run and a show. To say the least here, as they bring them on down the back straight away, no one giving an inch here, no one giving any room up. On back down around that 19, kind of, well, let's say he went under the radar there. He went Black Widow on us and he went invisible, but now he's back. As they continue them on down the front straight away here, they... Real quick, we just want to say we haven't had a chance to say this, but thank you guys so much for tuning on in as well. We've seen the, we've seen how high our viewers are right now. We want to say thank you all at home for su supporting these guys as well as supporting the show. We do hope you like what you see here tonight, and we hope that you like, share, and follow us up here on PTM Racing TV for Facebook, and then at Leak PTM on Twitter and YouTube at PTM Racing TV, where we will bring you this show in its entirety there as well, so you can watch it on the big screen if you like. But nevertheless, under 20 laps remaining in this one. And I've got a feeling this is going to be a shootout here. I haven't seen too much bump drafting here. Well, I take it back. Aiden Doyle giving a little bit of help there to Bryson. Really getting that bumper ever so closer into position here, trying to help him out here. I've got a feeling that bump draft is going to come into play here later, and it's going to start to show. It's definitely starting to show as they work them on down the front straightaway how much they're trying to work it in and try to get something figured out. Andrew Griesbaum right now is giving it everything he can to hold off Ben Dunn, Bryce Matthews, Aiden Doyle, and Travis Sudslow. But Sudslow as well, and that Folds of Honor is not out of this one just yet. Sean Ryan right now is a lap down. He has nothing he can do about that in this case. He's hoping maybe he can get a little lucky and get a hand or two with the caution, but I don't think it's going to come out anytime soon as they work them on in. These guys still... No room for error. No room for mistakes. Man, oh man. This has been something here for these guys. They just will not give an inch. As they work them on down the front straightaway here still. We've got 17 laps remaining in this one now, folks. And there is no give, no ounce of show, wear, or tear on any of these drivers here. They are looking to win. They are looking to get the bunny they need to their to their charities tonight. All proceeds will be donated to them as well. As you work them on down around the back straight away here, still the sidebar. Ah, trouble! Trouble! Ben Dunn and Aiden Doyle into the wall. We've got trouble here on the turn three. Look out! 
Gosh, it's coming on out. If you're a lap car, I got to believe you're happy to see that, but you can't believe that as well. What on earth happened there? Holy smokes. We're going to the replay. Let's find out about that one here. Oh, my goodness. Here is the replay. Let's take a close look at this. Was the bump draft getting a little too hard, I wonder? See, maybe we can see what happened. Oh, Sezlo, he just got a little too much and actually got the two and the four out of that one. Oh, damage high on the two. Aiden Doyle has got a problem with the transmission of the motor. He took a lick and a half there. We're going back to the replay here to show you again exactly from a different angle here. Here's another angle at this one here. Watch carefully. Watch Sezzo kind of get that front bumper right into the rear there of Ben Dunn and just kind of push a little too hard. They get a loose, little loose there, and then they're, bam, right out and taken. And then at that point, there's nowhere to go. And if you don't know what we're talking about with Sezzo, I'm going to show you this here real quick. Here's another look at this. This is from the cockpit view here of Sezzo. Yeah, you can see right there, they're backing off, and he just got a little too hard, and the 78 of Andrew Griezmann was trying to stay out of trouble and get down on the inside, but unfortunately, they saw an opening, but it was not the opening you wanted to take necessarily at that moment, and a tough break there, unfortunately, for Ben Dunn and Aiden Doyle. But that doesn't mean anything when they can get it refired up and centered back up, and we'll see if they can bring it back out for another go-around. It's been a good showing so far from the drivers, and it's definitely been a tough road for all drivers involved in tonight, and that is definitely shown with the track tech talk here tonight as we are at Talladega Motor Speedway. So real quick now, let's go ahead and bring it down to our track Tech Talk here tonight at Talladega Motor Speedway. This tri-oval design with turns 1 and 2 being at a 33 degree and then turns 3 and 4 at a, oh, actually turn 3 being at a 32.4 degree with turn 4 being at 32.5. Again, it's not really much of a track when it comes to cornering or trying to apex. It's all about just rhythm, timing, and figuring out how they want to run it here. The back straightaway here is about 4,000 feet in length. The 4,300 foot curving front stretch creates a slight fifth turn in front of the main grandstand, which is why this track is called a trioval. And that's your track tech talk here tonight in this 2.5 mile long track. A lot of great series have ran on here before, actually just today. In the truck series, we had, we had some great battles there going on and some tough breaks for some of them. But it was definitely a good showing there. And then in the Xfinity Series, some of the top tier drivers, they're also coming on out. And side note for Pedal the Miller Racing League, they told me they want to wish a congratulations to the 25th spot of Matt Mills Racing. Matt, good, good to have you back out there, bud, and good luck on your next race. Congratulations on a good finish there and making your way on in. But yet again, we are here with the Shake and Bake Racing Series here tonight. But after this... We're going on over the Flyby Cup Series, and we're going to have ourselves a little bit of fun over with them. As at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern Time, we're going to bring you the F Cup Series at Chicago Land for the All-Star Event. But, of course, this is not the only series you'll be seeing here on PTM Racing TV tomorrow night. For season one, we we had a good season one with the street stocks and the legends for what it we had to work with. But you know everyone wants to tune on in for season two. That's when the sequel is going to be the better of the two, no pun intended. And Pedal the Metal Racing League is bringing just that with the ARCA series and the late miles. But they will start it out at Daytona International Speedway for the ARCA series, and that on and then on Tuesday night we return to the dirt. As the street stocks will bring them on out, and then on Wednesday night we return with old school. It's, we wanted to give, them, we're going to give them a little love again. We've had some struggles and some issues on the glitch graphic gremlins and our internet server issues. So this time though we've got it fixed up, we've got it ready, 
We promise old school is barring any more disasters coming on. <coughs> Jereko will be all ready to go here for another fun action venture there. And then Thursday night, we're going to bring you guys the late miles to pedal the metal. And that'll be the first race of season two for them. And their first showing will be something interesting there. We'll go on down to Daytona International Speedway with a custom setup that I guarantee will be an interesting showcase of driver's technique and ability to win that one. And, of course, Friday night we'll bring you back the Triple Threat Series from the Crazy Dog T-shirts of Split Decision Racing League. We'll see how all that plays out for them there and see how it all comes to be. But for now, we are here tonight with the doubleheader. This is the showcase of the charity event brought on to you guys from the Shake and Bake Racing Series, the Fall Charity 2020 race, as they like to call it. These drivers... Rooting on going for their charity of choice. We'll bring the list back up so you guys can get an idea of what exactly we're talking about. All these lists, all these drivers listed on the right to the left, your charity of choice. And these are what these drivers are working for tonight. They're trying to get all the proceeds to get to their charity of choice with a race win here tonight. And we're going to find out how all that plays out here as they get ready for the green flag restart. You know what we want to do. We want to get that truck off the track and put the pedal in the middle. Once again, Bryson Matthews will be your race leader this time by. He holds the pose. He holds the position. He says, are you guys ready? Well, here we go then. 13 laps left to go. Bryson will lead him off. Off the restart, Andrew Griesbaum will try to get staying right there with, with Matthews as they work them on around down the front stretch. Turn one, they go. Oh, drivers jockeying for position early on as they work them on down around now. Ben Dunn trying to hold his own there in that number four machine as they work the inside and the outside line on around. They bring him down the back straight away we go. No driver giving an inch here. No one giving out just yet as they continue this one on in. You can see though the run starting to come there from Derek Regal as they work him on in. Regal trying to get something or Regal trying to get something going here. Derek Regal doing everything he can as he works him on around now. He's trying to stay ahead there of Bryson Matthews right on his tail. Neither driver giving an inch here, neither driver giving anything up. But Bryson Matthews right now is just trying to stick with Ben Dunn. Ben Dunn yet again is overtaken for the second slot. On back down around out of turn two. They go to the back straight away they are. Troublesome territory though. Look out. Whoa, a little bit loose. Some down the bottom of that yellow line. You got to be careful of that. You can't stay down there. That will cause a penalty if you do that. And they're right now they're trying to just stick with it and stay out of trouble. These guys are giving it everything they can for that charity on their car. Ben Dunn is giving it all he's got for the TGR Foundation while the 78 of Andrew Griesbaum is trying to give everything to the, Be the Belleville Area Humane Society tonight. Flark, come on down. We've got 11 to go this time by it. It's definitely showing here between the drivers as they continue. Damn on in here. But I got to believe sooner or later that run is going to start to take away an effect here. And it's going to show that they're just waiting. They're waiting patiently. Remember what I said earlier, the last 10 laps at a, on a plate track are definitely what you want to see. And they can get hectic when you least expect it.
All right, on back down around now. They bring him on in here. They are still neck and neck with one another here. Only nine laps left in this one here as they continue him on in. Grease Bomb still doing battle here with Ben Dunn as they continue this one on in here as they are not giving any room here, any inches to give up here. Ben Dunn now trying to defend off on the bottom there on trying to hold his own with Grease Bomb right now in front of him. And the 99 now working him on in. Ron Walters with a late run out, a rate rally. Working him on down the outside there. Aiden Doyle not out of this one yet either here, folks. Oh, this is going to be something here as they get him on down. We've got eight laps left remaining in this one. Still side by side. They take him on down out of turn one. Neither driver giving an inch here. Neither driver giving any room up or any mistakes here. These guys will give it all they've got as they continue them on around here. Neither driver giving an inch. Neither one going to give up just so easily. Yes, they work them on in. They're still in the hunt, still working them on in. Neither all they're working on down the back straightaway to turn three to four. Now they got left traffic to get around there. They work them on down. They continue to swing them on in. They're still in the hunt, still in a position, still no one giving an inch here. This is great stuff. This is hard action battle here right now as they continue them in. Aiden Doyle still trying to hang in there with Ron Walters. On down that front straightaway, we've only got seven laps remaining in this one. Neither one wants to give up. Neither driver wants to quit. And this is definitely a showing of test and a modesty from these drivers here. Neither one wants to give anything up to one another. And you can tell they're wanting to give it all they can. On down around now, down out of turn three, going into turn four. Here they go. Neither driver giving an inch here, neither one quitting on this one. As they continue this one down around out of turn four, they go. Ron Walters now has challenged up for the lead. He's taken over position. He's not out of the hunt just yet here as they bring him on down around. Here we go, down out of turn one. Into turn two here, Aiden Doyle now getting some momentum built up. Aiden Doyle has taken the lead yet again with only six laps to go. A three wide salute is initiated. They are bringing him on down the back straight away here. Three wide they go. They're hanging in this one. No one wanted to give an inch here. Nobody's giving any inches here. As they continue them on around now, they are still in the hunt, still in a position here. Neither driver giving an inch as Aiden Doyle tries to hang on. He can't quite get it though. Ron Walters will make the pass around yet again here. Wow, five to go. Flagman's got a high five up in the air. He, these drivers know what that means. They've got only five laps to complete. The charity of their choice is on the line here. They want to get those but they want to get the donations to them. Oh, here we go down out of turn two. They go the 99 of Ron Walters still back and forth right now with Grease Bomb in that 78. And the two of Aiden Doyle is not too far out in this one here. They are giving it everything they can here. Oh, wow, a little bit of contact later on Shively. Shively is okay, though. He gets it steered back in just in time. But that shows up. Sean Ryan, unfortunately, he's going to get pushed back even further now. Four to go this time, but look at the push there from Aiden Doyle, trying to give a hand to Ron Walters. Ron Walters right now with the race lead in a moment of to try to immortalize his foundation tonight. Trying to stick with him, trying to stay ahead there as they go. Neither driver giving an inch here, neither driver giving any room up. This is going to be a battle and a heated one at that. To the end, they go. All right, back down around out of turn three. They'll go down, 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 turn four here. This is going to be a close one here. We'll be at three laps remaining this time by. They are still side by side. All drivers still in the hunt, still trying to keep it in there. Now look at this, a three watch salute this year there by Ben Tunn. Ben Dunn in the four down trying to get something going here on the outside. Worked him on around now. Walters goes to the bottom. He went below the apron. He saves it this time. Ben Dunn right to the outside there. Trying to get around Bryson Matthews. The 78 there. Agrees about trying to defend off. Look out down there. Look out. Look out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. That's not what 
what you wanted to see and that was not what you wanted to do. Oh my goodness and a half. Oh no. The big one comes and it came and in my opinion the worst possible time. Let's go to the replay and look at that one one more time. Holy smokes. What on earth happened? We're going to take a very close look at Ben Dunn's maneuver. They're going to a green-white checkered finish now. Look at this. Griezmann try to defend. Ben Dunn's trying to stay in it with him and trying to stay out of trouble. And then, oh! Four went in the air, and then I think I heard Ricky Bobby saying it there, yep, I'm flying through the air. It's not good. And that definitely showed there. That was a hard lick and a half, and unfortunately upside down. He has got to get a toe in there, unfortunately. Here's another look at it from another angle. Here, there's Griezmann there. You see him working him in. And that's where the big one came. And it started up really quick, unfortunately. We're going to go on board here with Griezmann, and we're going to show you what he saw when that collision started. That was not what they wanted to do, though, and that was definitely not the start they were thinking he was going to get. That was a hard, hard lick and a half and a tough, tough break, to say the least here. Considering what they were running for this whole time. That was just absolutely crazy to think that that happened there. Alright guys, looks like we're about ready to get the replay back up here in a minute. Yep, we've got it back here. We'll get it back up here for just a second. Alright, now you're on board here with Griezmann. Watch this. Watch the movement. Watch how that wheel just jerks straight left and right. That's him trying to save it. And he can't save it. He spun it around. I think all the cars got involved in that one. That's how hard he, they all got into it each other there. You can't blame Ben Dunn for trying to make the run when he needed to. But at the same time, can you blame anybody for trying to win for their charity? They've got one green-white checkered finish. That's all they're given here, folks. We'll see if they're able to hold it out. All right, folks, we're back yet again. And I can tell you right now, this restart is going to be the biggest one for them because they've only got one chance at this. There's only one green flag restart, green white checkered, I should say. If they mess this up, it's game over for them. So let's see how this all goes down. This is definitely going to be a strong finish and a strong race to the end here. But I gotta wonder, is it too late to make any big moves here? Is it too late to get the race win in here? 
So joining us here tonight, Lee Robinson coming on in. Good to hear from you, bud. Champal earlier and Deborah Shriver actually now joining in here. Up the standing sheet doesn't look any more blurry. I think that might just be on your end there, grandmother. Keith Johnson still hanging in here with us. And good to have you in here, bud. Sean Johnson, Sol Sally as well joining. And guys, it's definitely time for one last green white checkered. This is their last chance. And you know when there's a last chance involved, generally you see some big moves being made. Will we see that here? That is going to be the ultimate question here. That was, that was scary to see here, though. That was a hard, hard lick, and you don't want to see that on these drivers. But everybody is okay, and everything's situated out all right. So we are getting ready for this one here. So, right now, we're going to talk about the top four right now in this. Top four, Ron Walters going for the American Cancer Society. The 19 of Travis Sedslow for the Folds of Honor. The 86 of Derek Regal, Regal going for the MS Resources of Central New York. Nate Myers does not have a charity on the list. And then the 20 of Bryson Matthews going for the Eggleston Hospital. This is it. They're only green, white, check, and restart. Here we go. One last chance. One last opportunity to take this one home. Pick your favorites. Choose your number. It's go time here at Tally. One more time. The green, white, checkered will be initiated here. Here we go. On down around on the front straightaway here. Immediately, Matthews gets straight to the outside there, trying to get a big run on there on him. Work them on in. A three wide salute almost initiated there. They've got one chance to get this right. They've got to get everything figured out here. And Aiden Doyle trying to get something going here as they work them on down the back straightaway. They go. They Aiden Doyle now big push there for Aiden to the 20. The 20's got the lead. Aiden Doyle has got a chance to stay with him. Can Bryson Matthews stay ahead there? Go to Aiden Doyle. Get this one here. They work him on down around out of turn three and four. What a run there from those two as a 78 there of Andrew Griesbaum trying to stick with it. Ron Walters not far out of it. Ben Johns back in the hunt. He's not done yet. Work him on down. We trade the green flag in for the white flag this time by. This is it, folks. They've got one opportunity. Four turns left. Who wants it more? Can they initiate the draft to get a perfect line here off the run? They'll work him on Dan down out of turn two. And you can see Aiden Doyle giving it everything he can here to stick with it and try to stay with Bryson Matthews. Matthews still not giving his line up. A bump draft now initiated there on that back stretch down. The turn three going into four. On the outside now, look at this. Ron Walters. Trying to get some momentum there on that. I think they're waiting for the final stretch here on the front stretch. Here we go. On down around. Will Aiden make the move? He's holding on, but I don't think it's going to come now. Here comes the 78 of Andrew Griezmann to the outside. He's trying to get a run and a half to the finish line, though. It's going to be Bryson Matthews, your race winner. Woo! Bryson Matthews takes home the gold. And for his charity, the Eggleston Hospital, the Eggleston Hospital, I should say, will be getting some some serious little charming here from Bryson Matthews. What a race and a half. Holy smokes. That was something special. That was some great racing here tonight. We're going to go to the replay and show you that finish here in its entirety. That was a strong end of that one. Nonetheless, this is going to be the last lap restart. We're going to show you here in just a minute. We're going to have to cut the volume up for a second as we're going down to pit road here at pit side. And we're going to go and talk with our drivers here in a minute. What a race and what an end to that one. That was some good stuff here. All right, guys. We're just waiting for the drivers to come on in and have a little talk with us, a little chat or two. 
That was a great race and a good end to the means there. This was a great race and a strong end there. Bryson Matthews, man, you want to talk about a finish and a half. That was good stuff right there. And that was the end of the race there, as you saw. And I got to believe Matthews right now has got to be in heaven right now after that win. What a race and a half he had to endure with these drivers. What a great battle. That man right there, Matthews, getting the victory. And it's time for a celebration here at Deladega. The burnout's coming, and they're coming in quick. The only two drivers still out of the track. Maybe we'll talk about some burnouts there. That's 75, man. He just gave a burnout and a half there. Holy smokes. But nonetheless, the, El the Elgiston Children's Hospital will be getting those proceeds tonight after that victory here. And what a race. Whoa! And I think the motor just went on one of them. Whoop. And that's going to wrap it up on them, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and wait for our top three here to join us here. We're just waiting for them to come on into the broadcast booth. I'll tell you one thing, guys. If you do want to tune on out and head on out to the next show, though, we don't, we understand, but that makes us a little sad. We want to talk with our top two or top three here, if we can, give you guys a little idea of how, what these drivers were battling for here tonight, what they were going for in total. This was definitely a hard-fought road for everybody, and they were giving it everything they had to do here tonight, and it definitely showed. As you can see, everyone's still situated out and done here. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put it off for here for just a moment. We're going to go ahead and try and get in talks with these guys, and we'll be right back with you here in just a minute. Hear me, Bryson? Yep. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, y'all good. Y'all good. We can hear you. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back down here. We're finally in the pit side here, and I'm with Aiden Doyle in that number two machine. Aiden, you had a run and a half there, man, to the end. You gave it everything you had. It just came up a little short here tonight, but that was definitely something to the end you had for him. 
Yes, sir. I uh, got wrecked out there with like five to go and just made it out in time and back up to the field uh, to get an opportunity at it. And the outside lane got a little bit stacked up and uh, me and Bryce were on the bottom and I just followed him all the way around. We made our move to the outside and held him off to the very end there. It was a good race. It really was indeed. And I, I got to say, man, you know, you know, you did have a little trouble there early in that first half. But then the second half, it seemed like you were starting to come alive more and you really started to get something going for that ms society machine and it seemed like maybe at one point if you just didn't have any help if you didn't have anyone kind of right behind you trying to take that draft from you i think you might have had a good shot to take him there oh 100 percent. yeah andrew got up on the outside i was thinking about maybe going to the outside there but i know if i wasn't pushing bryson all the way we might both get passed up so i was going to stick with him there at the end yeah for sure that man but nonetheless it was still a good battle and a good race here for this charity event i gotta ask you though man you know, you're on camera, you're on cue now, joining here with a lot of people at home. Who do you want to thank here for this uh, second place podium finish? Uh, just thanking the league for coming out. I mean, we couldn't have done it without them. Uh, they shared it around and uh, got the word out. And thanks to you guys, too, for doing that. And we got a good good amount of people to come out and uh, support a pretty good event that we put on as a league and just to, you know, promote some charitable giving. Everyone just uh, donated to their charity of choice and got in and we had a, a hell of a race. Absolutely, indeed. But nonetheless, man, you, it was a good race and a good show, to say the least. Here, I gotta say, this we definitely would be interested in doing more. If you flutter contact us up, that was some good stuff. Contact, but nonetheless, Aiden Doyle, second place finish here tonight. Congratulations once more, buddy. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your second place finish here tonight. Aiden Doyle and the number two MS Society Machine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he put him up on into victory lane here. That's the number twenty, uh, Bryce and Matthews. Matthews, my man. Holy smokes, did you have a murder's row right behind you you had to take on, my friend? Yeah, I've, I was shaking. You yeah, a little shaken up, but nonetheless, you were still holding out there pretty good. What was uh, the key to success for you here tonight, bud? Just tailed it up, not running at the back the whole time. Aiden have helped me at the end and got the win. Was there anybody that you felt like you might have gotten a little worried about coming down that end, or you think anyone that was going to give you a good good run there? Andrew, he was coming. He was for sure coming. Yeah, it definitely seemed like it there. But man, you, I gotta say, dude, you just you hanged on there for the end. You were all. It didn't seem like you ever out of the top five in this race. You always were in the hunt somewhere, and you just everything seemed like it was working pretty good there. That's that takes a lot of talent, especially on a track like Talladega, man. Yep, never giving up, man. Got wrecked. Yep, got wrecked, but then all of a sudden brought it back out and like shake and bake, you put it into full effect, and you got yourself a race win here tonight in this charity race. So, Bryson, I got to ask you, man, who do you want to thank here for this win? Uh, My mom, my dad, and my sister. She's finally able to make it home from the hospital, and that's why I'm running the paint ski I am. I can definitely say right now you made your family proud, and I can definitely say your sister's got to be buzzing and jumping right now seeing you in victory lane here tonight, man. This was a heck of a race, and congratulations there on that victory. Then, good congrats to all you guys out there, but Bryson tonight, your charity and all your race came up just a little bit better. That's what it's all about, brother. Congrats again. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your race winner here tonight, Bryson Matthews in the 20 El Elkins Children's Mach uh, Hospital Machine. I hope I said that right. Uh, nonetheless, everyone, that's going to wrap it up here tonight for P Pedal uh, PTM Racing TV. And uh, we're going to be going down. With well, uh, ah, it wraps up for Shake and Bake Racing here in the charity race. I apologize. Um, so, but don't forget, folks, to, just coming up here in about a couple minutes here, we'll be going on over the doubleheader here for Fly by Cup Series. And we can't wait to show you all the action and adventure there that's going to be coming on down. So what adventures will we see in their all-star race in Chicago land? Well, there's only one way to find out. you got to like, follow us up here on PTM Racing TV. Go on over to Twitter at League PTM and tune on in there as well as YouTube where you will see this race in its entirety over on there with a nice custom th thumbnail to remind you what the heck this track race is all about. But nonetheless, folks, that's going to wrap it up here tonight for the fall charity event. So from all of us here at PTM Racing TV, thanks again to Shake and Bake Racing for letting us come on out and tune this one in. It was a great race and a great show. Thank you, everyone, tuning on in. Now for now, until 30 minutes from here, be safe, God bless, take care, and good night.